Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, makeup artist. So today's makeup tutorial is so easy to recreate and I'm so excited for you to see this because I'm only using six makeup products and two brushes. I promise you, all of you out there can recreate this look. I'm using an orange lipstick. It's super trendy right now for spring and summer. I will show you how to transform a lipstick into a stain with a few little tips and tricks. I have a beautiful model, her name is Kristen, she's from LA Models, she has beautiful skin and I will show you in this video step by step how I created this look. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, I love hearing from you in the comments, leave me some feedback and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you, bye! Hi Kristen. Hi. Hi, thanks for being here today. So I'm gonna do your makeup. I'm gonna do a really super fresh makeup look on you today. I think that's very appropriate for the summertime. And I'm, believe it or not, only using one, two, three, four, five, six products on you. And I'm using two brushes. The first product I'm using is a NARS product. This is a tinted moisturizer. And the reason why I chose this, because I think this is great for the summertime. It has a SPF of 30 in it. So you're really good to go for during the day. It's a very light product. So you could just really use your fingers or your hands with this, but I like using a brush. And I just, Wayne Goss just sent these brushes to me and I'm so obsessed with them. This is number 10 and this is his foundation brush. Look how beautiful, like so fluffy and nice. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna use this on you right now. And I'm applying this tinted moisturizer all over your face very lightly and you can really buff the product in with this brush really nicely in round circular motions it's almost like you're airbrushing it all right so we just applied the tinted moisturizer and it looks so pretty on you now it's really important that you really don't over apply too much product because you really want the skin to still look through and uh, to get this look, I think it's really important to either use your hands or to like have a really nice brush, something like this, where you buff it in and it's almost like an airbrushed finish. The next thing I'm doing is I'm just using a bit of this brow product by MAC and this one is called Lingering. And I'm just filling in the little gaps in your brows. And your brows are really nicely groomed so you don't really have to do too much. Also, this is a really nice daytime summer look, so you don't want to overdo your brows for this look, since we're doing a pretty bright lip color with this. And then you can just take a little spoolie and just brush them up, or you could use a little bit of a brow gel, whatever you have in hand works best. All right, so for your eye makeup, I'm really just doing two things. I'm tight lining your upper waterline with this pencil by Urban Decay and I'm using the black color and then I'm using some mascara so what I'm doing with this pencil is close your eyes I'm literally just bringing this color in the upper waterline and then I'm also gonna bring it in between your lashes it's almost like I'm putting a dot in between her lashes and I'm doing that all over and what this does it just like makes your lash line appear much fuller and thicker and then go this way perfect okay so the next thing after tight lining your eyes with the black pencil is putting mascara on and I chose this Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express for you. Now you already, your lashes are so nicely curled, that means we don't really have to use a curler anymore. But everybody out there, if you feel like curling your lashes, that would be the next step. And so what I'm doing with the mascara is I'm just going as close as possible to the lash line. And I just kind of wiggle it upwards. And I really focus on this look what I'm doing is I'm just doing the outer corners and I'm not even putting mascara on 
on the inner corner. So what this does, it just gives you more like that kind of winged effect. So I'm not putting mascara in the front. I'm really just focusing on the outer corners. And I'm also not putting on any mascara on the bottom lashes, just in the upper outer corners. And if you now look in the camera, you can see just it gives you that really nice little winged effect. So we just applied mascara. The next step would be putting a little bit of concealer on. I'm really um, not putting any concealer on you today because you have great skin. And I'm moving on to putting a little bit of cream blush on your cheeks. And I chose this product by Stila and it's called Camilla. And the color looks like that. And it's almost like a bronzy color. Instead of me putting on bronzer and a lot of like contouring products, I'm just putting a cream product on you today. I'm using this brush by Utova in number 22F. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna just smile a little bit. And I'm putting the product right on the apples of your cheeks. And then I'm going outwards. And then I'm taking my beauty blender just to blend it in. You want to just have your skin really shine through all of this, what we're doing right now. It's really important that you really see your skin because you want it to look really fresh and very effortless. And I really love when you can see that sheen going on with the cream blusher, so really don't powder that part at all. It's really nice when you can see the glow. Okay, so we are almost done with this makeup look. It's so pretty on you and it's such, a, such a great summer look for during the day. And to really kind of brighten up this makeup look, I chose this color by Stila and the color is called Valentina. It's actually my daughter's name, so I'm super excited to use this color. And uh, the color looks like that. It's really bright and orange. And this color is really trendy right now for spring and summer. So I'm excited to do a orange kind of lip on you and I think that this color is just super fun because it really brightens up any kind of makeup really quickly and you can do this during the day even or at night time and the way how I apply it is directly out of the bullet and then I use my fingers and I push the product into your lip so it doesn't look too so intense because it's a really really intense color and you could intensify it if you feel like wearing more but I've you know this makeup I did on you is so natural so I don't think it would look that great if you just overdo your lips so I want to keep it more like a stain and then a really great tip is to like make it even more look like a stain is I take a Kleenex and I just kind of blot it a little bit like that, take the excess off, and then it's a stain. And this is the finished fresh summer look for this spring and summer. I hope you like it.